I despise yellow coin missions more than red coin missions. They're so tedious. Yeah, <laughs> fools. I can always keep your main 999 coins won't be so bad because I can just keep grinding this one. Nah, it's not worth it. It's easier to get 99 99 to get other levels, yeah. Get those for the heck of it. I love those reflections, those are really funny. This will be too easy, yeah? And I never point out this stuff, uh... Get into that little juicy stuff later on. I think I can keep grinding this, though. I mean, really. Definitely saving after that. Let's do the actual mission, yeah? Honestly, this involves breaking that fan, and guess what? I guess the only watermelon big enough to break that fan, the one at the top of that arena. That little, that little studio place, you know? First, we gotta clear out the cataclax. Awesome land. <laughs> they know I'm setting them up, huh? Ha! <laughs> 
they end up in the trees and get knocked out too. It's hard to get it rolled down, too. We're nearly at the tenth fate when doing so. Good thing they're in that sand to be stunned. Well, except you, apparently. I'm uh, gonna kill you. Fuck you out. So it doesn't explode out of randomness. That's annoying. We we'll have to clear out the catacombs in this area because they're the only ones that can shovel you. And uh, these people here will talk about their watermelons. You can't actually roll them because that's stealing, like in the contest. But. Yeah, they run watermelons, and their watermelons are too tiny compared to my big one. You know who else has big melons? Rebecca from One Piece. She is freaking sexy. I like her enjoying the straw hats, but they already have a swordsman on the team. So they can't. She's awesome, though, yeah. Yeah, I win, because I got a big one! And the fan is broken! We can't the sword! It'd be awesome if it broke, then make more sense. Really, the only purpose of that shine sprite inside the thing is just to troll you. But now we're gonna get chopped to bits. Or not, because Mario's standing on that little thing in the middle, <laughs> looking epic. So, uh, we got first world where we got all the shines, but. Uh, we gotta get all the blue coins. So that's where we will head next, the fourth world. This is actually the last world we enter via M portal. Well, I guess there are other portals too, but you know they're not that variety. But, the, but you notice inside those M portals, we actually see images of the world, but that won't happen anymore. That sucks. Now, there's, uh, one right there, a shine sprite, a secret, a secret level. I think we'll activate the cutscene, that, that takes forever. Mario. Yeah, the only time we see Water Mario's watery tongue. In fact, looked on the back of the Kids Next Door game box, yeah, yeah, Next World, can you believe it? The Kids Next Door game box, they spelled villains wrong, they switched the A and the I, idiots. Oh, this is gonna take forever. So, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, that's a different boat, okay, okay, quick! Yeah, that's the only way you can enter, we're not... That boat will only come there after a certain number of shines. So, it's a bonus level with a red coin mission. It is difficult. But here's a way to cheat it. It's, all, it's also slide themed, but... It's also more like a game of chance, because this is like some sort of ping, ping pong game or something, you know? But you can get that one early. There's also, there's also three free ones right there, if you can get them all in a row. <laughs> that one's really easy to get. 
<laughs> Make sure you don't glitch off. This level has the weirdest mechanics in the game, I have to say. It's because, like, there's like a force that blows you here. I'm not actually moving. That, there's a force that kind of blows you. And if you miss any of the slots, you will fall to the chasm in the center. The hardest one to get is that one right there. You like kind of really have to watch yourself. Oh, that was, oh, that was actually pretty easy. And yeah, it's in the center right there. That's the only slot that doesn't have a slot of a slide in it because you need room to stand so you can get the shine sprite. I actually kind of fell, almost fell on it earlier. Yeah. That was the easiest time I had on that level, I have to say. I thought that would take a bit longer. The salt fall in the very middle bottom because you will die. So, uh, to get to that world, you need to use this cannon. Kind of different how they do it, because, you know... Because, you know, how they always swi already switch to the next world's cutscene. Mecha Bowser appears. So yeah, what are Mario Mission early? That's because this is story related. Well, the only time stories played a factor in a Mario game is uh, is uh, Paper Mario series. This little, in fact, this is one of two worlds that has like two different acts to it. And the second act, the second act is the actual world. This is really a little sub world. Nothing really ever happens here. But around this beach, there are um, hidden marks, and they're really hard to clear up for some reason. Never knew that. And there's a bunch of fruit hidden around the beach. Can you believe that? Big reason for that. I really like this little beach area because of the Sunflower people. This is the only place you encounter the Sunflowers, and they're really pretty. I always love talking to them. They're so fun, dude. Let's look what they do. <laughs> they're so cute. And here's their mommy. Well, there's a bunch of fruit buried in the beach, and like, depending. Depending on what mission you pick, this beach will have different enemies. Bring all those little potheads. Also, this boat here serves no purpose. It is just there for the heck of it. I think, like, if there was a way to take you back to the hub world, uh, that would be the way, since you come here via cannon. But, uh, to get back, all I have to do is uh, exit area, just like DK64, you know, 64 had their own exits. But here's, but when you enter the main world of the, you know, world, you can't go back to the little world, so finish what business you have there, you can't go back there until the next mission. This is the, uh, park world of the game, amusement park. Now, on instinct, you think to chase water Mario, but don't do that. Grab some stuff here. Because you get to hear the world's music anyway. And the enemy of the world is these little electric turtles. Interesting. And there are... And the different kinds of fruit are hidden around. This is different from the beach area. The pear is hidden on that little Pianta nose tree, huh? 
point out the other fruits momentarily. Uh, there's the bananas right there. And that's where Mar Water Mario runs. Do his business when you can, but not right now. Get these graffiti marks out of the way first. Keep the island clean. This is uh, one of my favorite worlds because I like parks, you know? Well, I thought I was gonna be the pirate guy, huh? And hey, look, Blue Bird, can you believe it? Now, usually these blue coins disappear by now, but I'm getting really good at catching them. So I'm awesome, you know? And guess what? This is a blue coin enemy. Only enemies that are in unique areas or just look unique, they're blue coins. Also, don't think this completely stands apart from normal Mario games, because it has the classic bricks that you break by bouncing from beneath them. But that is the only time you'll see them in the actual world. The rest of them are in bonus in the mini worlds. We'll catch the birds first. I really... They're a lot more... They're a bit more creative with the blue coins here, because blue coins are in really nice areas. I mean, those, those, I mean it's kind of small, but for a park level, it's fairly... It's fairly big, so blue coins are in cool little areas. This one's a little difficult, though. Like, you're like right at the inch when you grab it. It's really difficult. Really difficult. But you get it nonetheless. And here's where the coconuts are located on these, on that tree over there. And the, yeah. I think the durian, I mean the pineapple's there too. Yeah, those things are really complicated to ride. Try and land on that. 
Oh no! All right, one blue coin. Then we'll go fight him. Immediate. Oh, you troll! Them. I think we're right there anyway. Oh, there's a pineapple. So the durian is over there. Yeah, by the trees. Easy grab. This one took me a while to find. The reason there's no pole here is because, you know, they want you to wall jump. Off that. Well, it doesn't make much of a difference. Really, uh, tricky to get, though. Well, not really. You want to ride the roller coaster? Well, let's do. And, uh, yeah, in the background there, you can actually see the fifth world, which is the next world, that little house back there. The only, this is the only place you can actually see it. <laughs> you see the way my controller moves across the table when it rumbles. So believe it or not, this is the boss of the world, and yeah, early on. Amazing, what a spectacle is this a new show of ours? You guys are great! Whoever hired you needs a raise! I love how you played the fearless hero, and he's like a bad version of you, but you both look the same and stuff. Well, as director of this park, I want to destroy your success. So how about I provide you with the hero's vehicle? Follow me! Yeah. This is probably my favorite boss because it is epic, because you Attack him from the roller coaster. And the reason you get different boss music and you fight him so early on is because this boss is story important, and we'll find out why after we defeat him. Pick up the water balloons and damage him from afar. But watch out for the bullet bills from behind. They don't scare me, though. Hi, Bill. No, oh, I thought he's gonna miss. He usually does. Oh, wait, maybe it's this one over here that misses. Oh, bye. The boy, the flames. You have to douse water at him. Yeah, uh, but if you didn't hurt him and you came up to him, the flames would actually be on the higher track. Oh, I missed. Fine, there's like a water bottle on that loop of the track, and it just sits there and you can't grab it. I never figured what that was about. It's not water, Mario. It's water, Bowser Jr. No, it's Bowser Jr. Oh, my wishes come true. 
Professor Egad, Luigi's Mansion. Yep, that's Bowser's Lair. Volcano, big surprise. Also, see those big trees, those big leaves in the distance? That is another world which you can only see from this one. There's big leaves over there, right there. You can also see Bianca Hills, but just a little bit. Like right under Quantum Mountain. That volcano. The volcano erupts, uh, Bianca Hills is the first town that's gonna get hit, because it's, you know, on the hill. And that is actually Bowser Jr.'s first official appearance. All those, all those little baby Bowsers we see in, uh, Mario Party. They don't really count, but that's the official Bowser Jr. So, in these levels, we're like a sub-level within the sub-world in the actual world. The sub-world is actually going to have two missions, which you can't get to the bigger world at all, because, you know, you can't come back afterwards. But here, we'll do the 100-coin mission.